So hello guys, this is the second part of Hyper, or maybe the first part. We want to do a bigger project for the mechanism. So the first thing we do is we can launch also motion view directly. So let us launch motion view. Like that, we want to create a free body diagram, and you know a free body diagram, a free body, not a free body diagram, a free body has six DOF, six degrees of freedom, that is translation in X and Y, X, Y, and Z direction, translation, and also rotation along this axis. So that makes it three of each. So the rotations are three, the translations are three. So the first thing that we need to do is to come here to the project, to check the units. You can come here, check the units millimeter, kilogram, second, and newton. And then gravity should be in the z direction, minus 9810, just as usual, leave everything at default. Now you come to the body, you want to add a body here, so right click, and then you add body. So you want to call this free body, free body part. Let's call it part like that. You can see we have a variable. This variable is unique to this body, so that it's going to always keep track of this free body that we create the software. It's going to use this variable to keep track. The name can be the same, but the free body will the variable will never be the same. And you can see it has underscore because there is no in the variable there is no space. You cannot put space. Now we take single and then body. And then we say okay so you will see that it will appear here so we say okay like that and now it's highlighted and you can see it's here so the next thing we come with for properties we put one here because it doesn't matter even the moment of inertia we don't it doesn't matter now remember this is a free body in the just arbitrarily in the air so we expect it to fall in the simulation so we come to the center of mass coordinates use center of mass coordinate system now this is where we select the origin you leave everything at default so you click point to be highlighted like that so you have two options you can directly come here and select the point as you can see we click there now this becomes the global origin and now this part becomes global origin like that so the other option is to you click directly let me check there was a way that you click that once you click it again you come and click you'll get this this part and then once you do this you select global origin yes this becomes still your global origin not this one so this is the local coordinate system so you have two options you double you click this twice you will get a dialog box or you can just click it and come in select that like that until the word global origin appears now the next thing is to click run like that but now you see here there is nothing here so if we save this as session will not it will not be a, they, they will be nothing there will be nothing here so we save it as model and then we come back here and then we create a new folder so we say this is free body part like that because you are going to use it later so we call this free body part like that and then we say we save now it's active now we see you you can see now it's free body part dot xml now after that now you can click run it's a very simple exercise and then we do that we close that now you don't need now to launch again come here and select the client the other option is just click plot once you click plot you'll find that this it will go direct to 2d you can see it's hypergraph 2d now the next thing is x in the x coordinate this is the x axis time and then here y type is body and then we free body but not the ground the ground now is different and then now for the y component we want the direction in the z so that y component is just the y axis what are you plotting against the x axis you come here you say that and then you, you apply like that no sorry you said you've done the wrong thing so we click apply like that now as you can see the other the other graph is still here i don't know how i'm going to remove this 
I don't know how I'm going to remove it. I've not yet found a way of how to remove it, but we selected the wrong one. As you can see in the Y, it's still zero. There is no dis there is no falling in the Y direction, but in the Y component, there is that falling, as you can see. So we can actually animate. That's how the body will fall. As, it, as you can see, as it's traveling along the Y, that's it. Yeah, that's basically it. That marks the end. You can even, as we saw, yes, in the other tutorial, which I created, you can even increase this time, the time for the simulation. You can put it 10, 20, whichever time you want, just before you start doing your simulation. Yeah. So that marks the end of this short video. Yeah, for those who have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe, please consider sharing and comment on any improvements that you want. Yeah, thank you. So as a bonus content, so I mentioned that I don't know how to remove this graph, this other graph. So the, the other way that you can do it, you can double click this to open it. Let me come here. Now I'm here now, the default. So you can, once you click on it, once you click on the graph that you don't want, just come here, select which, which one you don't want. So you can unselect it and it's gone like that. And select it and it's gone even the other one let's see in the z as you can see it's in the z here so if you click it like that it's gone it comes back yeah 